this video, I will show an example of packing a... I am a head and neck surgeon and facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon, but I am not your head and neck surgeon and facial plastic and reconstructive surgeon unless I have recently seen you formally in the office. Supplies used in this video include packing gauze and cotton tip applicators, which are basically wooden Q-tips. Patient had just undergone drainage of a sebaceous cyst. Packing a wound consists of filling the space with a clean gauze and later removing that gauze after it's become soiled and then replacing that gauze with a new clean gauze and repeating again. Over time, the space of the wound gets smaller and smaller and therefore the amount of packing gauze that can fit gets less and less. As shown in the video, the gauze is fed into the space, and this is simply continued until the space is fully occupied by gauze. You can use either end of the cotton tip applicator, although in this case I'm using the wooden end because it catches on the gauze a little better and allows me to drag it into the space a little better. Once the wound space is full, I will then cut the gauze intentionally, leaving a tail that is long enough that it cannot get lost within the wound. A key principle is to remove exactly one piece of gauze and to place exactly one piece of gauze each time, so there cannot be extra pieces of gauze left in the wound. The external tail of gauze can be taped to the skin and or covered with a bandage. I hope you got something out of this video.